I've been having trouble. Good morning, everyone. So I could be on Zoom and then stream live one minute, get off that show, pop back on and try and stream live again, like, you know, an hour later or whatever, two hours later, and yeah. it doesn't work. <laughs> oh, no. Why? I don't know. I don't know. But then I just reset it and away we go. Like, then it's fine. I don't know. Technology is weird. It doesn't like you all the time. It does not like me all the time either. Not always. Well, hey, guys. Um, hi. So I'm not even ready. I don't have my notes out. I know that we have some stuff to talk about today, though. We have a giveaway. We have the game show Battle Rooms, and maybe we should tell them just a little bit about our experience in game show Battle Rooms, just for those that maybe never heard before about this place and didn't know we went. Well, so first of all, this is What's What Wednesday with Kate and Ash, the group's live news feed. And yes, I do think having a bit of a, a background about battle game show Battle Rooms, it, we went for a happy hour event here in the group. And how many people did we have? We had like, there were well over 10. This is for up to oh, 10 Oh yeah, adults. no, we had like, we had like 10 on each team. So it was probably like over 20 something people. Oh, definitely. Shout out to Jasmine, first commenter. Good morning, Violet. Good morning, morning Jasmine. Good morning, Jasmine. I, I have not done anything this morning, guys. I don't know <clears throat> if everybody knows. I know Katie knows, but I got my wisdom teeth pulled last week and mm, I'm rough. reading. <laughs> so rough. It was not a good experience for me at all. I don't know why they would not put somebody under getting that done, but I can't if you're believe you're going to get it done, ask to be put under. I can't believe they didn't Nummy. put you under. I mean, were yours impacted? Because I had four impacted. And when I went and got it, they put me under, which I'm starting to feel like. Maybe well, I everyone I've talked to now has told me that they were put under. So I don't know why I was not that, but he, I'm in the chair and he's yanking. and He's been yanking for a good 15, 20 minutes on this one, two. Ew. I got two of them taken out. Oh. On the first one, he was trying to get it out, having a hard time. And then in the midst of it, he goes, well, it's really unfortunate that on your x-rays, we couldn't tell that the teeth are curled, which is why we're having a hard time or the roots were curled. And that's why we're having a hard time pulling it out. Cause I guess if your yeah. roots are straight, it's a couple yanks and then it's gone. But if they're curled, <laughs> it's not a fun experience anyway. So it literally felt like there was a jackhammer going on in my mouth. And I thought he was breaking all the other teeth around those two. And it was, oh. yeah, it's Poor hard thing. because it's in the, it's so close to your ear canal that you, they said you just hear everything. So, you, oh, oh, e. yeah. yeah. Anyway, e. that has nothing to do with game show battle rooms. Does not, does not, except for, um, you know, the fact that. We had a lot of people there and it was a lot of fun, a lot more fun than going and getting your wisdom teeth pulled, that's for sure. Anyway, um, Game Show Battle Rooms is in, is it technically Chandler or Tempe? It's in Chandler. Chandler. And it's set up in a way that you get, like there's different kinds of games. There's the classic games or there's, um, what was the other ones? Classic and prime time or something. Anyway, you get to choose the package you want, which kind of helps you pick which types of shows you want to be playing. And the game show hosts are just like super on point. They're really fun. They make it very entertaining. Everyone's very. laughing. And it, yeah. they're funny too. Mm -hmm. Super fun. And there's the host himself and then someone else that's um, in the room helping like with like the technical, technical side of everything, the lights, the cameras, the microphone, the screens, all that stuff. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of fun and we should have, uh, maybe I can find it. The, didn't we share some videos on? Yeah, there was some media for a while in the featured section. I don't think it's in there anymore because 
I get a little wild hair sometime and I go in and clean out a bunch of stuff. Ashley's well, probably that's like, true, but this? that doesn't Where's mean that? it left the group. It's in the group and look what I found. Oh, oh you it. did. I did. So this gives you a little bit of an idea on the room and how it's set up. And you have different teams. Oh my God. <laughs> it's so not funny. a flattering face. Ashley got her <laughs> stuck. Remember when yours got stuck? You're like, yeah. what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> um, everybody had so much fun though. Hello? What happened? Oh, you're playing a video. I'm like, you're not talking. What's going on? So yeah, so this is um, Wheel of Fortune type. I think so. Yeah. There was, oh, it even says right here, what's that cost? We played that Wheel of Fortune. Um, what was the well, first one that we played? They can't name it Family Feud. They can't Family name Feud. it the same, you know, right. the game, the actual name of their show. Like they have to change on the TV. Names, right? Yeah. Yeah. But it's the same. Yeah. Anyway, it was a blast. And so, yes, we have a giveaway. Do you want to start with the giveaway first? Yeah. I mean, the fun stuff. And then okay. I want to talk about the trivia question um, this week because newsletter is going to be going out uh, to the distribution list here shortly, like today or tomorrow. And our trivia prize is awesome. Did you see it? I did not. It's for house cleaning. Like, yeah, I who doesn't want that? Really? Yeah. It's exciting. Yeah. Very exciting. And I know that everybody's going to be super stoked for that. So if you are not on the distribution list guys, and you want some house cleaning, then you need to get on the distribution list. I even helped you guys out and it's this week's challenge post. Did you see oh, that? Oh, yay. <laughs> so we're doing a challenge, a challenge giveaway too. So what do we have? We have battle rooms giveaway today. We have challenge post. Well, challenge post is just, they get on the cash list, get on the cash list. Right. And then we're talking about the trivia prize because it's house cleaning this week that we're giving away. So yep. those are the things that we have to do today. Yes, ma'am. All right. Um, so th this is everyone who, so the, the initial post for the game show battle room giveaway went into the featured area and what was the call to action? Katie, I don't remember what exactly everybody was supposed to do on so that. So what they needed to do was comment on that post who they would bring with them. Okay. So if you commented on the post and you said who you would take with you, if you were to win the game show battle room giveaway, then you got on the wheel. And so this is for a free show up to 10 players. And you can either choose between classic or prime time room. So there's a couple different rooms you can do go into, which again, which one were we in? I think we were classic. I wonder what prime time is. So they must be different. Games. I don't know. I bet you it, it describes them mm. on the website though. So definitely worth looking into before you choose. Um, okay, I'm gonna spin it. Spin it. Here we go. Walk down the street. <gasps> That's a song. Who's gonna win? Oh Is my Ashley? goodness. Is it Ashley? Is it Jasmine? Ashley Parker. Ashley. Woo woo. She's gonna have so much fun with that. That's exciting. all right, Ashley. She said that if she won, I was gonna be on her team. I I think it was her that said that last week, wasn't it? You, Ashley. So there you have it. I'll be on your team. I'm down. Yes, ma'am. All right. Congrats. Let me know when you have your screenshot. Got it. Ashley Parker. Um, so, so my my son has this little friend that's been his friend since he was a year old. And his friend has a sister named Parker. Uh -huh. And his friend says it like that. And he's not even from the East Baca. Coast. So it's really funny. He's like, Baca. <laughs> it's really cute. That is cute. Okay, guys. So let's let's start with some of the basics. If you are new and you don't know how to navigate the group, some of the basics would be that you always want to pay attention to the cover photo. 
And actually, it being a new month, we have a new cover photo up. And this month, we are um, highlighting and showing off Kimberly Carroll with Extreme Construction. She's Yay, Kim! A, yeah. Uh, she's an expert in home construction and renovation. So if you have any questions related to renovating, whether it's um, commercial or residential places, she's your go-to gal. Um, if you're doing any add-ons or anything within that scope, she is more than happy to answer questions, give you estimates, whatever you guys need. Um, if you click the cover photo, just as I did here, the caption pops up. If you're on mobile, you'll hit view photo and then the caption will show up underneath it. Um, so her information is right here, how to contact her through Facebook or her website. Um, this month's trivia sponsor was Cox Sandoval Law. And like Katie said, we'll go ahead and show you guys the um, trivia question that's going to be in the newsletter. So if you're on the distribution list, you're getting that once a month newsletter, which gets you updated on giveaways, events, uh, shows, just basically all Mom Nation related things that you want to get updated on. Right. So big shout out to Annette Cox Sandoval with Cox Sandoval Law for providing our trivia prize for this week. I'm really excited about it. We're going to talk yeah. about it, right? All right. Um, and because then it involves another business mama that's in the group too. So <laughs> it's even more fun. They are collaborating. Yes. We love it. Um, so then there's also a direct me page link right here. This is going to be an awesome um, page for you guys to subscribe to. It actually in the top right corner, I'm going to open it. In the top, not right, left. Top left corner, there is a subscribe button. And that means that you'll, once you're subscribed, we'll get notified when anything has been added. So if we're doing giveaways or drives or some special event, we're going to put it up here so that you guys, because Facebook hides things, it's just reality, unfortunately. And we want to make sure you guys have all the resources and ways of knowing what's going on. And this is the best thing that we've found other than. The newsletter is great, but that shows you kind of like what has happened, whereas this keeps you updated on what's going to happen or what is available now. So and where things are located if you need to access them. And it's just like easy access, honestly. Um, like I I don't know if this makes it easier for everybody, but I created an app on my desktop on my phone for this. Not an app, a thumbnail. Well, you can save it to your home screen. Yeah. So then yeah. I just bloop, That's pop I right do. over. Yep. Yep. Um, so right now we do have the Halloween costume connection post that's still out there. If you click on, we're probably going to see it. it's in the featured area, but there's a way for you to donate gently used costumes um, and let moms in the group see them and have a description of the costumes that you're trying to donate. And then if they're in that area or if it's close by and they don't mind getting to it, they can come and pick those gently used costumes up from you. And after Halloween, if there are still costumes that moms have that didn't get picked up from Moms in Need, we'll put some locations together by sponsors where you guys can drop them off and then the charity committee can go and pick them up and then get them to Sunshine Acres, which is a children's home in the Valley. And that way they have um, costumes. It's still going to someone in need, even if it's not someone in the group. So. That's the goal. That's the posting to get to it. So speaking of Halloween, so my kid is on break this week, right? Mm -hmm. And he's home and everybody knows what that's like, I'm sure. Yeah. So have three. <laughs> yeah. So there's lots of stuff happening in my house, unbeknownst to me even. Um, but he made Halloween decorations yesterday and look what he made for my office. Oh, cute. Isn't it cute? I oh, my gosh. That. I was like, buddy, that's so sweet. <laughs> so we have like pumpkin. He knows you like skeletons. What's that? He knows that you like skeletons. He does. <laughs> <laughs> that's cute. All right. Um, oh, I even saw Annette is on right now. I see Annette. Hello. Hi. 
Sorry, guys, I just pulled up comments. Hi, Diana. Katie has them up. Oh, what's up, Diana? I have to do it on my phone and then I have to like manually refresh it because that's just what I have to do. Anyway, direct me page has all the resources. We're not going to go as we were deep diving into all of them. Just know the marketplace is always in here. You can always shop with the um, approved vendors that are in our virtual storefront. Again, that's right here. They're always there for you to shop with 365 days a year, day or night, and it gets shipped directly to you. Um, our state Facebook groups, there are other states outside of just Arizona. Um, What's What Wednesday is specifically in Arizona, but if you are interested in learning about the other states, you can do that here. Uh, any affiliate links or promo codes, discount codes that you guys can take advantage of or use, we will put in here. Right now there's Pogo Pass and My First Nest Egg. Um, I think that's it. No, Dubsado. Yeah, so shout out to business owners out there. If you guys have a promo code that you would like to discuss with us for us to promote, then just reach out. I mean, it's just me and Ash. You're going to talk to one of us. <laughs> so. yeah. yeah. If you guys have one that you guys want to put in there for the moms in the groups to be able to utilize, this is, this is where we would put it. Yep. Um, and we talk about it every week. Yes, ma'am. Moms faves list. So we went through a nominating process where all the moms came and said, Hey, we want to nominate these businesses. Cause we think they're awesome. And then it went through a voting process and we all basically came to realize who the mom's faves list is. So if you're looking for recommendations, whether it's um, home improvement or restaurants or beauty services, whatever it is, there's probably a really great recommendation in this mom's faves list. So go check it out. Um, There is a portion here for anyone who's going through... um, divorcing as parents you might be able to speak more to this katie what's this one specifically helping everyone with so i'll i'm looking at oh sorry i'm like what the heck can you click on it is it an actual video or it should i'm be not a sure i feel like should be a playlist okay it yeah i mean like- i know the little video uh thumbnail kind of throws us off but i'm pretty sure it pops up yeah Okay. So it pops over into a playlist. Okay. And so, um, yeah, if you are interested in watching any of the um, Divorcing His Parents playlist, that's in here. Um, all Mom Nation resources. Again, if you are just looking for how to get onto the distribution list, getting into those other state groups, looking at the group rules. Um, checking out the website, all those things are going to be in all Mom Nation resources, submitting a blog post, um, actually submitting a job listing or searching jobs, all those things funnel into here. Uh, And then there's Arizona specific resources, networking group resources. If you are a business owner, come check this out. There's a way to schedule a once a month business posting in our biz mom networking group, um, which is growing. It's awesome to watch. Um, so definitely check that out. If you're a business owner, if you're wanting to get more involved, there's the charity committees, the event committees, um, all sorts of different ways to get involved. So check out this folder. If you want to come on as a guest on either a live and learn or from the heart podcast, you can do that here. If you yes, want to please. get Katie on, if you have a podcast. Yes, please. <laughs> yes. Actually, I had um, so much fun last week. Sorry. I'll shut up now. Well, I'm done now. <laughs> okay, now. Now I will. <laughs> anyway, you can let her know that you're interested in having her on your show or podcast. Uh, listen to Mom Nation Talk Radio. So if you want to listen to any of the shows, and then your um, way of watching the show's YouTube playlist. I guess that's why I'm thrown off is because I would think that the divorcing as parents would be a show in the YouTube playlist section here. It's actually a playlist on the YouTube channel. Gotcha. Oh, you want? No. Well, the reason why it's not in that folder 
yeah. is for accessibility purposes. Okay. I like it. Um, let's see resources for moving within or to AZ. So team Evo AZ, as you guys know, led by Katie and her wonderful gals, Dana and Sonia, they have yeah, a ton Sonia, of different resources. Shout out. Um, and they are constantly putting out different tips and educational resources or how to's. Um, and so a lot of them will populate in here and in their homeowner education group. Um, What's What Wednesday, if you ever want to check out what we've got going on in the weeks prior, all of our replays are there. And I said I wasn't going to deep dive, and I tried not to, but that's <laughs> the direct me in a nutshell. And Ashley loves the direct me. Yeah, I guess so. Ashley put it together. <laughs> so she's like, this is my baby. Let's look <laughs> at it. <laughs> um, all right. So, yeah. Cover photo about me section, always going to have a lot of resources for you guys. So if you're new, check those out. And then let's go into the actual featured area because we still have some ways to get your mamas on um, the cash list. So this was the posting for the game show battle rooms. Again, congratulations, Ashley Parker. Um so this was what they interacted on and we did turn off commenting. So y'all know that that's not happening anymore. Ashley won it. It's all done. Now it's time to get your house clean. So make sure that you guys are answering the trivia question. How do you answer the trivia question? You get on the distribution list, just like Ashley mentioned a couple of minutes ago. If you're not on it, get on it. You get one email a month. Yep, yep. That's it. So this is us live right now. This was the cash list update and recap. And look at all these beautiful ladies. So this is updating you guys on who's currently on the cash list for this month, October, and recapping who made it onto this month's cash list from last week. Because the last week of the month, Wednesday, last Wednesday of the month, um, all the ladies from that will get on this month's cash list. So here they are. And you know what I see um, to the right? Sorry to interrupt you, but did you see the post yes. from Sister Kelly? Yes. So cute. So Ashley's Sister Kelly won the $100 cash, um, you know, the monthly cash that we give away at the end of the month. And look what she did. She bought Halloween decorations for her office and it looks so cute. It I love her candy cute. corns. I think it's the the break room. And so, yeah, it's so sweet. What a wonderful way to have everyone else be able to enjoy it too. Yeah. So Mom Nation Cash paid it forward to more than just one person. I love it. It's that's really nice when I mean, who was it? Tony. Tony paid it forward. She had a mom be able to go and and you know get a whole new wardrobe on her, her shopping site when she won. That was awesome. It's awesome. You guys are so sweet. <clears throat> All right. Navigating divorce as homeowners, the three options. So this was Dana and um, Ryan with Waterstone Mortgage. And they both came on and they do these every week. Tip Tuesday. They're about four minutes ish long, but there's different tips on home ownership or just things you want to know. Um, and in this case, it was navigating divorce as homeowners. I did not you know, get the, to listen to this one yet. The unfortunate thing is that um, this affects a lot of us at some point in our lives, whether it be direct. So, you know, specifically me, I mean, I don't know if you guys know this, but Matt, my husband and my son's father is actually my second husband. So I went through a divorce. Also, my parents were divorced. Um, so it's huge in my life and it is, it affects a lot of us. I mean, I see so many posts out there. I talk to so many mamas throughout the week, months, years that are dealing with it in some capacity and on some level. And so over the years, I really started to dig into it on the real estate side. And it's kind of crazy. Like not a lot of people know this, but there's a lot of things that a, an experienced agent in the divorce vein 
um, knows and can help with that. Uh, and just a regular agent who really isn't experienced in that world um, can handle or will handle or will know to handle. And so we've realized this, we've realized that it's a niche for us and we have an expertise. And so you're going to see more videos come out in this sort of uh, topic on this topic. So just share. Yay. Okay. So uh, definitely keep an eye open for those. I, again, I didn't get to listen to that one yet, but you're right. Divorce touches pretty much all of us in some fashion or another. So um, this is our welcome post and we have, oh, I didn't remember. I don't remember. And I don't think I put it in the comments this time. Oh, whoopsies. Oh, uh, let me see. I can find out without having to count. I'm sure there are. Where'd you go? I mean, 27. Awesome. So. Welcome to all the new mamas. I'm so excited. Week after week, we've been having such um, such a good amount of moms coming in, and it's really been exciting. So thank you for those that are sharing the group. Thank you for those that are just stumbling upon us out there in Facebook world. We, we love having you. I agree. And I always say whoever invited you had a great reason to do so. You're soon to find that out. Mama number 19. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Olivia Wade. Olivia, Olivia Wade, Wade. Going on the cash list, babe. Welcome to the, the cash list. All of you. We're super glad you're here. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to any of us admin. You can, of course, again, take a look at the cover photo. Take a look at the about me. All of those areas will help you get to learn and navigate the group. And again, this welcoming post hopefully gives you a great start to that as well. All right. Um, actually, I'm going to grab her name for you. I got it. You got it? Okay. I already posted it. Yep. Yay. Uh, let's see, free five-day home selling class. So Team Evo AZ between October 30th and November 3rd is going to have a learn how to sell your home class. And that's going to be taking place in their homeowners education group. Um, and it's, or is it another, um, what is that word? Self-directed, go at your own pace kind of class. Online five days, we drop a new topic or a lesson each day. Um, get to it when you can get to it. If you can't get to it that day, it'll be there, you know, tomorrow for you to review. You don't have to talk to anybody. And, you know, we started doing this class maybe about a year and a half ago um, out of necessity because we realized that it's, I mean, we're not born knowing all the things that we need to um, do or the expectations we need to set when selling our home. And unfortunately, not all of us work with the most experienced agent in the area or that we can, or that we know, or that our friends know, or, or that we can see online has experience and expertise. Um, and so we need to know stuff ourselves so that we know when um, we either need to make a change with that representation, or if something, you know, just doesn't seem right, or if you know, whatever the case may be, it's just really good to have that knowledge yourself. Um, I was, I started a lot of times I'll get clients that have already worked with agents and it just wasn't a good experience. And so I'm kind of like picking up the pieces and making things right for them and getting their goals met. And so this happens to me all the time. So a couple of weeks ago, maybe about a month, month and a half ago now, actually the weeks fly by. I had one that uh, that was referred to me that was having a heck of a time getting her house sold. And she didn't know after speaking with her, she didn't know what a listing agent actually should do, like the basics. She yeah. thought they just put it on the MLS, take a few snapshots with their iPhone and away we go. And it's so much more than that. And it was actually detrimental to her goals and her sale. She you know, had reduced the price to a lot less than she should have just 
it's because she didn't have the right marketing. Um, so it's good for us to know as humans, as you know, home sellers that aren't necessarily in the real estate industry or, or in that world, it's good for us to know at least the basics so we know how to protect ourselves. Well, and she might have that perception because some real estate agents maybe even do do that. Maybe all they don't market it correctly. They oh, 100%. Really work. Actually, most. Yeah. It's there's a, there's a, and I'm not trying to be a jerk guys. It's just the reality of it. There's a small percentage of people in my industry that actually do the things they need to do to, to succeed as far as, you know, to, to help their clients succeed, to help their clients get the most that they can out of their home, to help their clients achieve these goals in a very successful manner. Um, very few. Yeah. And it's because Anybody, like, it's really easy to get a real estate license. I'm sorry, but it's super easy. And I'm not, and I'm not, you know, dissing anybody. I'm not, you know, uh, being mean or anything. Again, it's just the reality of it. And it's really self-directed. So you can get your real estate license, learn nothing and go out there and, you know, start helping people with the most expensive purchase or sale they're ever going to make in their life. Like it's a huge asset and you literally know nothing. Like some people don't even own their own home as an, as an agent. Anyway, I, obviously I'm on a soapbox. I got to get off, but you can make a show about this guys. <laughs> <laughs> and I have, <laughs> and she has. all right. Um, so this was, oh, oh, who oh. sponsored our giveaway for free tuition to seven Tinker Garden classes. So if you get, if you're on our distribution list, you're getting that once a month newsletter, then this is the trivia question that is on that once a month newsletter, or at least for this month, this is the question that you're being asked. And if you reply to the email, answering it correctly, then you get entered into winning this trivia prize. So again, the winner will receive a house cleaning service worth $200 through Clean Slate Cleaning Solutions from Annette Cox Sandoval with Cox Sandoval Law. Shout out to Sharon with Clean Slate. Y'all need to jump on this because if I could get Clean Slate to come to my house, I don't know if you guys have seen their business page and the work that they do. It's phenomenal. And it makes me kind of sad that I can't enter into these. So I was just gonna one, say, please take advantage of this for me. <laughs> Can you hear the salt in her voice, y'all? There is a lot of salt it. in this voice. Actually, <laughs> you have no idea. I have to gargle with salt right now three times a day. Because so there's literal salt in there. There's literally salt. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Park Place Condominium. So this is neighborhood news. So Katie's coming in, letting us know that um, Park Place Condominium conveniently located in Surprise, Arizona. Awesome. It's it's actually very conveniently located. That title is so true. It's right in the middle of um, lots of things. And I go over that in the video, kind of a little bit of history too, which is really cool um, about the surprise town hall. I think it's called. I don't know. I talk about it in the video. See, this was Monday and I'm like, is it the town hall? I think so. <laughs> it's It's a government building, but it was built on or it sits upon, I should say, some old military runways from when they were using Ooh. that particular area to teach air force pilots how to fly. So it's kind of cool. That is cool. You can still see the runways. <laughs> Neat. That is awesome. I wonder if people are like walking them all the time now. I don't know. I, I just love history and I come from back East where it's very history rich, right? Like there's <laughs> a lot of history, a lot of old buildings, a lot of historical sites, things like that. And when I moved out to Arizona, I was like, oh man, it's a bit different. But then I started digging into the history of Arizona and where it's not as old, it's still really cool. We've got some pretty neat history. Like um, one of the houses I owned, have I ever told you this, was built in 1880. The, oh. the original Is that structure. the one in, in downtown Mesa? The one, the historic home I have. Yeah. yeah. So the, the original, I got to take you on it. When my tenants move out, I'll take you on a tour. You'll really like it. It's a cute place. Mm -hmm. um, so when the original structure was built, it was built in 1880 and it was Pomeroy. Remember Pomeroy is a big name around here. One of the founding yeah. families, I believe. 
Um, it was Pomeroy's barn because that was all farmland. And oh. yeah. And so my living room, wait until you see this house. You'd be like, weird. I can't even picture this. But my living room was like the barn area. So I assume horses, hay, all the barny stuff. And then later on, when they, they created a house, made it into a house, and then started to add on a little bit. That's but so just cool. So yeah, neat. Cute. And you guys, so help uh, solve an argument or help me support an argument. My husband wants to tear it down. What? Can you believe no. the nerve on this guy? Like, yeah, he wants to tear it down. So he he brings this up to me at dinner the other night and he's all like, you know, we could just scrape it and we could put like, cause, cause it's mixed use. So I could put a little, um, like luxury condos or something on that property and have more than just the one unit. Yeah. I could have like say three units. And so from an investment standpoint, that sounds really good. Right. What if getting real crazy out of the box here, but what if the original home is still intact, but it's added support so that it's the home underneath can still be like maybe rented out as like a shop boutique or like, you know, some sort of like just business front, but then build on top of it, additional room, like, you know, however you want to do it, apartments, whatever. So yes. So but that way you're is, keeping the rich heritage and the, the, the home itself, and then you're still getting, adding on to it. So that was an idea that was also discussed. I want to say that we have a cap as to how tall we can get. Mm-hmm. Um, so we have to, you know, kind of fall within those guidelines But the cool part about that property is right now it's residential, but I don't even need to change the zoning on it. I could make that house into like a coffee shop or something like that. And I wouldn't even need to change the zoning. So, um, and it's in the perfect spot, right? I'm in downtown Mesa. Heck yeah. Yeah, It really is. Um, it's right in the middle of everything. It's not actually on main street, but it's a a quarter of a mile off of main street. It's just the next street down. Um, So we did discuss that. It's also a pretty large lot. So I was like, well, maybe we can keep the front house and then we can put your condos in the back, (laughs) you know? So (laughs) I'm lobbying really hard, you guys, to keep this house because I love it so much. And I love the history. And I love saying, I have a house that was built in 1880 because that's really old here where I grew up in a 200 year old farmhouse back east right and that was like a new it was like a new build um but here it's really different so anyway back Diana says she agrees thank you Diana it is right. so unique I totally agree all right sorry guys we went on tangents sidetracked sure. um this posting that you're still looking at I'm sure <laughs> is the uh, celebrate everything posting. This is coming out every week so that you guys can let us know what you're celebrating. It's all inclusive. So if it's personal business, whatever it is, birth announcements, um, marriages, whatever we want to celebrate with you. And we've got six mamas in here letting us know what they got going on, uh, or six comments, I should say. Uh, so Erica Shea, five year wedding anniversary is the 20th. Hey, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy, 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 happy. Michelle Garcia, my birthday is on the 18th. Woot, woot. Happy birthday, Michelle. There's so many 18s in my life. Like so Uh many people in my life are born on the 18th of some month. My son, my husband, you, Mm -hmm. Jessica, (laughs) now Michelle. Like Mm -hmm. there's more. So you know what's crazy? This is so crazy, you guys. So my son, his birthday is February 18th. Okay. My husband's aunt. Yes. I say aunt, not aunt. I'm from back East is also born on February 18th. And his uncle is also born on February 18th. Isn't that crazy? So there's three people in our family that have a birthday, February 18th. So fun. It's so crazy. So many 18s. What does 18 mean? You guys, is there like some sort of numerology like what does it mean in numerology I wonder I wonder too now you're gonna make me look but I'm not gonna do it right now all right biz mom Monday like and follow ladder self-explanatory it is a like and follow ladder 
If you um, have a business, these are in every state group, including the networking group. So you can actually come in. There is um, participation steps. You do need a Facebook business page to participate properly in this. And basically what someone does for you, you do for them. And it helps build your like, follow, and get um, more interaction on your content that you're putting on your business page. But it also gives opportunities for moms like me to just come and check out what you have going on and learn more about you and what you're doing. So this is an amazing post. You definitely want to do it. Do it. Do it now. <laughs> Did we pick the challenge winner already or am I? No, because we haven't popped it open. I should have just opened it manually, but I didn't do oh, that. I figured it was you, show you, itself. You put somebody in the in the spreadsheet as the challenge winner for this week. And I'm like, hmm, maybe this is a premonition. Mm, no, I put them in the giveaway winner spot. Okay. No, you didn't. Moving on. I did. Anyway. That. All right. <laughs> we sh yeah. We have not done challenge winner yet. So uh, saving Sunday, the appropriate items. So this is going to be a post that is out every Sunday. And anyone can come in and let us know what money saving things you've come to learn about. So if you're at the grocery store and you see something on sale, if you see a coupon in the mail, whatever you've come to learn about, or maybe you are a business owner and you have a um, promotion, discount, what have you, something going on that's going to help mom save money, please come and tell us about them in here. So right now we have uh, Krista Elise with Starfire Cleaning LLC. Um, background checked through AZ DPS, 16 years in business. She is letting us know that she still has, uh, I don't see where the discount is, but she is definitely letting us know that she is open for business and that you can reach out to her if you have any cleaning needs. Um, Tony Marquette daily flash sale. So if you guys don't know, Tony is in our um, marketplace and every single day they have a daily flash sale where you get 30% off different um, products. So what's awesome about this is every day those products change. And so you definitely want to check out those flash sales every day to make sure that you're looking at um, the current current savings and deals. So 30% uh, off plus free shipping on all U.S. orders, including um, Hawaii and um, my brain. I was about to say Arkansas. Alaska. Alaska. Uh, so again, her link is here. And look at how cute some of these things are. Um, oh, you would look super cute in that orange sweater with the flowers on it. That this is one? your color, yeah. <laughs> or the one right next to it. I that's your like color it. too. The yellow one. Mm -hmm. That one. I like that one maybe better for you. I like that. I like this. There's so many. I like this one too. All right. And that's all we got here. How come our Pogo Pass isn't in here? Oh, that's a good question. Pogo Pass and uh, Team Evo savings. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Whoops. All right, surprise. So this was the uh, random cash pool. So each week I will come in and pick a random posting to select a mama who has commented in it. So this was our weekly random cash pool. And I did it off of Katie's posting where she was letting you guys know that you can book her if you have a show or podcast. And I'm forgetting... It was Letitia Joseph. That's right. Letitia Joseph got her name onto the cash list. And so she's probably, if she saw the recap and update, her name was on there. And congratulations, Letitia. All right. Expert tips for buyers. This is Katie, Matt, and Ryan. And this was them going, is this the real estate fitness one? No. So this is our monthly market update where we talk about what's going on in the market. We talk about what's going on with rates and this is very hyper-local information. So where we do sometimes talk about national numbers, you know, where 
because that kind of does play into a little bit about what we're experiencing here in Arizona. We are mostly very, very hyper local. So we're going to tell you what's going on here locally, what the stats are here locally, because that's what's important to us. Do we need to know about what's going on nationally? Sure. But a lot of times people will listen, listen to the national news and thinks that's exactly what's or how Arizona is being affected right now. And it's not the case. It's very separate. Yeah. Well, I mean, separate and not. You know, like what's going on in Podunk, upstate New York is going to be different than what's going on here. Right. So right. national statistics take into account everything where we talk about what's going on here in the Phoenix, greater area, greater Phoenix area. OK. All right. And then here was the fun Friday posting again out every single week. Anyone can come in here and let us know about open to the public events that are going on. So whether you're just a mom like me finding these out or you're a business owner that is hosting these events, you can come in and share um, them here. So Ashley Parker was letting us know that Skills Grand Opening at Chandler Mall is today, 930. Wookie's Tattoo Shop is doing the suicide awareness today, 930 as well. So my kid is actually at Shields Grand Opening right now. Really? Yeah. yeah. So we'll have to we'll have to have him come on and tell us what he experienced because he's still on fall break next Wednesday. <laughs> Aw. All right. Chores and responsibility. This is Laura Wood and Katie uh, coming on. Um, this is mental wealth. Leave a new legacy, and this is specifically going over chores and responsibilities. How do they play a part in raising healthy kids? Yes. Yes. <laughs> you want me to say more about that? No. Okay. No, you're fine. <laughs> Mom Nation set C. So Sarah Pitcher, our amazing travel with Sarah Michelle. She is a travel agent. Definitely a go-to gal if you guys are needing any travel plans set in motion or asking and answering any questions. She's you know, free to work with, free to talk to, and a, I mean, wealth of knowledge when it, especially when it comes to Disney stuff. So, um, in cruising, but she put up the, uh, mom nation, second annual mom nation cruise, and that will be happening January 13th, uh, through January 20th. So you guys will see that in the events section of the group, as well as, um, I don't know if it's, it's not on the direct me now, but at some point as we get closer, it'll probably pop up in there too. And thankful Thursday. Anytime you guys are thankful for something, you can share it with us. We would absolutely love to know them. Um, so Katie, she was yes. letting me know she was thankful for me. Tony Marquette. Aww. Today, I'm thankful for healthcare professionals. I'm still here because I have selected and maintained a great healthcare team throughout the years, and I'm grateful. Yes, ma'am. That's awesome. I'm thankful for my husband, Darby Stubfield. He really is a saint and my rock. Aww. I know her husband. He's pretty yeah. awesome. Aww. I know Darby, too. Um, but yeah, he's pretty darn awesome. Uh... Katie Patterson, Casey Patterson, Katie. I'm thankful for Dana Wilson, who took several drives out to Florence and Santan to show us homes. She worked so hard to find us a great home for our family with a nice backyard that has room for our own ideas. We love you so much and can't wait for our new endeavors. Aww. Yay, Casey. Congrats on the new place. Yes, congratulations, babe. Uh, let's see. Casey. Casey. I cannot read right now, guys. Sorry. Ashley Parker, 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 Parker. Thankful for weather to cool off. Yes, ma'am. I've been able to ride the bike and take Joseph to school every day this week. It's been really nice. You take him to school on your bike. I don't oh, it's not far from your house. Right, right, right. I don't normally, normally I have to take the big boys to school. And so that's not an option then. But this week, the big boys are home and Joseph's going to school because he only has one week of break. Ah, uh, gotcha. So, yeah, 
Cooper was uh, the motivation behind mom, let's take him on our bikes. So oh, cute. Yeah. Another reminder, so guys, the bingo event is getting, I mean, it's around the corner now. And if you guys didn't know, by going you and playing, you have a chance to win a week stay at a VRBO home in Hawaii. Pretty sweet. You just got to get yourself there, right? Yeah. So definitely go and play bingo because it's going to be fun. And what it's 250 bucks is the cash prize and the VRBO week in Hawaii chance to win that. That's awesome. Okay. And I'm going to miss it. Wah. You what? I'm going to miss it. Wah. Wah. We can't win anyway. <laughs> That's true. But well, I love bingo. I do love bingo too. All right. Um, new cash list challenge post. So this was last week's. You, you will have seen a new one come up this morning. But this is last week's. This is the one we're going to actually pull a winner off of. So if you participated in this, it was you going um, to the featured area of the group and placing a reaction on at least one comment or more on two posts of interest to you. So you were either reacting or putting a comment on two posts of interest for you. And if you did that, then you came back to this posting and underneath it, you put challenge accepted. And we only had two gals do last week's, which is surprising because that was an easy one. Easy peasy. Who that wins? We're easy one. So let's do it. we got two of you. 50% Number chance two. of winning. Was it Casey? Casey Patterson. You're getting on cash list, babe. Okay. I'm overriding what you had in there before I'm putting her in. <laughs> All right. And then the other way to get on the cash list was the letter of the week. So if your name started with the letter E, you had the opportunity to comment under here and look, we have no E's. No E's. There were E's guys. There's a tough of e's one. There are some E's. There are. There are. All right. So I don't know. How do you want to do that? Just, uh, so yeah. it. Just a, a nil. Okay. Um, maybe we should make it to where people can tag the ease. Does it say that in there? No. Maybe we should add that in there. It's either them That's commenting a good idea. or tagging people with ease in the group. Um, okay. Announcing the winner for the Tinkerton Garden. That's us last week. So that was What's What Wednesday. And here is that Mom Nation costume connection posting. Again, that's in the direct me page, but it's also here in the featured section. So if you do have gently used costumes that you would like to donate, you're basically just coming into the comment section, looking for, um, Skylar has put a comment for every city in the Valley and you're going to go ahead. Actually, it's yeah, every city in the Valley. And then you comment a picture with a description of the costume. It tells you how to do it here. But that way moms can come into the comments, look for their city, and look for the costumes that are available for pickup within that city. Uh, this is one we went over last week, but this was a really cool um, way for Katie to let you guys know that she did a podcast uh, show or she was a guest on real god shots 365 um, with tim broderick and it was a really cool episode she talked all about the growth and transitions of mom nation and anyway it's very interesting you should listen to it we listened to it on our way back from that weekend where she kidnapped me and made me work all weekend she yeah. made me listen to it but i didn't yeah. mind because i wanted to <laughs> And you guys see her nose growing, right? It's yeah. Not... All right. Um, again, we saw this. This is how to let Katie know that you'd like for her to come on your own show or podcast. Uh, this is the, let's see, last from the heart podcast show that Katie did um, with Ashley Beeman. And this was 
Ashley's story as uh, breaking free a mother's journey to overcome Adderall addiction. Definitely a heart, heart jerker that one. Yeah, it is. Especially if you have, you know, if that hits home for you or if it does for somebody that's close to you. Yep. Definitely as a tearjerker. Um, this is Katie and Diana Easel coming on, letting us know, um, or giving us a lot of information about navigating relationship challenges, job loss, and financial stress. And I forget the name of this one. You forgot what? The show. What's the name of this one? Oh, this is Q&A with a couple's counselor. We, we call it our love story. Our love story. That's right. All right. And then I think these are older ones. So jumping in. Looks like I got to go clean it out. I'm helping. (laughs) I'm trying. (laughs) Um, This is going to get us into our top 10 contributors. So if you don't know what these are, Facebook does an awesome thing where it allows us to see who's active in the group, who's posting, commenting, reacting, going to events. I don't know what all is done to create our top 10 contributors, but it's an awesome way for us to see and acknowledge who's adding a lot of value to the group. So our top contributors this week are Jasmine Gutierrez, Ashley Parker, Tony Marquette, Jamie Talkington, Marissa Lee Hall, Amy Taylor, Karen Bethel, Marcy Sawyer, Casey Patterson, and Kara Lever. So all 10 of you are going on the cash list for your amazing efforts. And we love you. Thank you. All right. Let's get you a screenshot. I did. Awesome. And upcoming events. Scroll back in. Oh, my computer is so slow. Facebook really just doesn't want you to see events. Mm -mm. We don't want that, Ashley. It tries really hard, actually, to keep me away from events. It does. Yeah. Um, Okay. So upcoming. So I think the Pure Romance catalog party is still going on. At least it shows it is here. So if you guys are still interested in taking a look at what um, products are available. I got some really awesome. I, I used it actually last night. I got, uh, some really great massage oil. We've been trying, we don't like massaging with lotion. It gets like gritty. Is that that the right way to describe it? Anyway, where is this conversation going? It's not that bad. I'm just okay. it, like, it gets gritty when you're massaging lotion on, you know, sometimes anyway, I really wanted to try massage oil and I got it from the pure romance catalog party. It was awesome. I really enjoyed it. Well, let us know how it goes. I just did. It's great. <laughs> oh, you've already used it. That's what I'm saying. Yes. Oh, I didn't think you got it yet. Sorry. My yes, baby. I did. I used it last night and it's been amazing. All right. What's what Wednesday? Again, we're here every Wednesday, helping you guys get on the cash list, making sure you guys know what's going on in the group. Um, The repair your credit challenge is also going to be happening soon. And that's October 9th through October 13th. That also will be in the homeowners education group. And then shouldn't be. It's not. No, it should be right here. Oh, AZ. Okay. I thought all of them were in the homeowners education group, but okay. Not all. Cool. No, I like to run the challenges in the big group. Okay. Um, challenge. So then there's what's what Wednesday again, but later in the month, October 13th, 6 30 PM, we've got the Halloween cookie decorating class. And that's always actually a lot of fun guys. They give you a, a sound. I don't know. Maybe if you guys have done it before, help me articulate why it's amazing. But you actually learn a lot of, um, I don't know, skills, techniques that I had no idea were like 
a thing when it comes to cookie decorating, but there actually are a lot of really cool tips and tricks that they show you and your cookies come out looking pretty amazing. So, um, and then again, October 14th, bingo, that is 5 p.m. Um, that is at Stars American Bar and Grill in Mesa. That's going to be a Shout lot out of- to Alyssa for mm-hmm. stars. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's been helping out with a lot of events. It's pretty awesome. Um, and again, bingo. It's a $250 cash prize, I think. And then you have the chance to win a one week stay VRBO weeks, one week stay in a VRBO home in Hawaii. That's, I don't want people to get confused because at Bunko Babes, we're not, we don't, we're not doing that. Bunko Babes is a lot of fun, but the Hawaii stay VRBO home one for one week is bingo. All right. Um, Then you do have Bunko Babes, October 21st. So this, this month it'll be on Saturday. Um, hopefully that'll help a lot of moms be able to come who aren't able to do it during the week. We know it's the holidays are coming up and what have you guys, but please make sure you're RSVPing and letting us know to any of these events. That is how we gauge our head count and how we know what is going on, um, to make sure that, you know, those who are hosting the events know what to do and how to plan things. So, um, let's see. And then December. So that's it. All right. We're going to be taking a look to see who the last commenter is, guys. Diana. She said, sounds like a money week. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> you know what we didn't do? What? We never did the timed. Ooh, we oh, did. Well. Uh oh. Oh, well. Next week. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Forgot to do timer. Whoops. Oopsie. Whoopsie. All right. Tony said, oh, no, <laughs> that's how I get on. <laughs> We're human. We're not perfect. Anyway, it happens. All right. Love you guys. Hey, love you. Bye.